Welcome to today's ArcGIS tutorial. I'm Authority Bishesh with you. I'm from Tulane University of Engineering and Technology. Today we will learn about Geospatial Analysis Project 2. Before moving to ArcGIS, let us go through the project details. So we are given the following special datasets that has BTM projection for RCC area. Uh, the shape files are education facilities and word boundaries. So we have some questions here. Uh, the number one is prepare RCC boundary using special data for boundaries. We have to make a RCC boundary and then we should take 500 meter buffer for standard service area of primary school. Then we have some sections in the questions. So now we will move to the ArcGIS software. So you can see there are two shape files. One is education facilities and another is RCC word boundary. So the first question was making a RCC boundary from this word boundary. So we can do that by dissolving the RCC word boundary. We will save it. So you can see this is a big project, so we will use a geo database uh, for saving our files. We can name it RCC project, and inside of it, we will just we will just save our files. The first one is RCC boundary. So this is RCC boundary and save it. It will take some time and it is done. So the first task is done. Secondly, uh, we will take a buffer. Sorry, we will take a buffer of 500 meters based on the education facilities. So we will go to the buffer and take education facilities as input feature in the linear unit will be 500 and save it as buffer 500 okay then we will click ok you can see we have met a buffer of 500 meters now we will simply dissolve the buffer for that we'll go to the geo processing again and click dissolve we'll select buffer 500 and save it as buffer dissolved sorry then click ok it will take some time as well it is done so now we have partially got our served and unserved area but first uh, we need to determine the overserved area uh, for that uh, we need to intersect the buffer 500 layer so we'll select buffer 500 and save it as buffer intersect Now we will uh, dissolve the layer as well. Uh, for dissolving it, uh, we'll just intersect first and then we'll dissolve it. So uh, after intersecting, it will take some time. Uh, we will dissolve it. Buffer intersect. Now uh, we'll name it. Uh, Oversert. Oversert dissolved. Okay. It will take some time. And you can see the oversert dissolved layer is now done. Now, uh, for determining the served and oversert area, we can use the identity tool. We can search for it. Identity. 
and click on it then we will identify oversight result from the buffer result this is the thing we want and it will give us the chart and oversight area we we'll save it as chart and oversight and click ok it will take some time okay now we have our chart and oversight area you can open the attribute table uh, you can see uh, the oversight area uh, is basically if we just uh, change color and make it upward this is the overserved area so if i find the overserved area in this layer so basically the overserved area is these areas and the served areas are these areas so we will name it overserved for that uh, we need a field we can make a field named status uh, for the type, we will select text and click OK. Now we have to start editing on this layer, start and overset. Now just name this overset and name this one start. And then just save your edits. And stop editing. You can see now we have the sharp area and under sharp area. Sorry, sharp area and over sharp area. Uh, now, now we have a problem that is uh, the buffer we have taken are somewhere outside of the RCC boundary. So we need to clip it inside it, and we need the unsharp or under sharp area as well. We can do the both task with one similar tool, one single tool that is identity. So we will again go to identity and for the input feature, we will put RCC boundary. And for the identity feature, we will use the SARP and under SARP area. Now we will see, save it as SARP, under SARP, and over SARP. And click save and click open. It will take some time. And we are done. Now we have this layer, and in the attribute table, we can see the underset area is also appeared. So we will name it just underset. Under so the file that we need to make is here. Now we will just keep stop edits and we have our desired layer. Now for the further analysis and uh, for solving that questions, we need to intersect this layer with the RCC word boundary because uh, if we open the attribute table, you can see the all that informations that we need like populations and uh, the other perimeters and the word names are all here so we just need to uh, intercept the rcc word boundary with this uh, our layer uh, so we will go to the geo processing intercept we will check this layer and rcc word boundary layer and uh, we will just name it as you o intercept and save it it will take some time as well uh, now if we just open the attribute table you can see along with uh, the status of each polygon we have the informations of population shape area etc to copy the data, we need to just go to this section and select all, 
then click any of the sections in the left side and then copy selected now we will go to the excel and complete the rest of the analysis after copying the data sets we just need to paste it on excel we click ctrl v and we have the full data sets in here now we will go to the question and on basis of the question we will complete our analysis the first one is calculate percentage of only served over served area and unserved area within rcc area now we just uh, need to go to the insert and we just need a pivot table accept the default options now for uh, the percentage uh, we need the status field uh, we need the status field in the rows and the shape area field in the values now uh, we need the percentage here it is uh, showing as area we just need to change the value field settings to percentage of grand total now we have the percentage of the SARP over SARP and under SARP area uh, now if we move, uh, move to the second question that is calculate percentage of SARP area over SARP area and unserved area within the RCC area against each word with reference to total RCC area that means uh, we need to calculate the percentage of SARP over SARP and under SARP in each word uh, with reference to the RCC area to solve this one uh, we will go to the insert another time and go to pivot table accept the default settings now we will select the shape area in values uh, we will drag the word area in the rows and the status in the columns now uh, we need the uh, served underserved and overserved area against each word we need against each word with reference to the total rcc area so we need to change it as percentage of grand total now you can see it is 100 percent in total and you can see in each word we have the overserved sard and underserved area uh, now we'll move to the third question that is calculate percentage of sard area overserved area and underserved area with uh, the rcc area against each word with reference to word area now uh, the calculation is uh, almost similar just uh, in the grand total we want to see 100 percent for each word so we will uh, do similar task just uh, insert another pivot table and uh, in this time we will keep the field as before status in the columns just uh, we will change the value field settings as row total percentage of row total now you can see in each word we can see 100 percent so our third question is solved uh, for the fourth question we uh, need to calculate the percentage of population for underserved area overserved area and uh, unserved area within the rcc area for this we need a little calculation now to determine the population of the current year that is 2022 will use this equation we have all the necessary informations given here so we will start our work first uh, name it eop 2022 now we just need to implement the formula for that we'll give uh, equal sign and equal sign and then uh, let's imagine that our initial population is p2001 so our initial population is uh, sorry just select this cell initial population is 2001 and then 
uh, we will multiply it with e to the power r t so for that uh, we just use a power expression and inside of it we will give uh, this number for the base 2.71828 and separating by a comma we will give the power that is actually the rate uh, so we have a multiplication here so we will add another bracket inside of it we will uh, multiply the time and the rate uh, for the rate we will use where is the rate this is the rate so this is the rate and with it we will multiply the time gap uh, for the time gap we will just uh, we'll just subtract 322 with the initial year that is 001 now we'll just accept uh, this default correction and we have our population now population cannot be fraction so we just need to format this cell we will select the number and for decimal places we will select 0 and click ok now you can see it is just an integer now we will just drag it for determining the population for other areas it's done we have determined the populations of 2022 now we will answer the question number d calculate the percentage of population for underserved area overserved area and unserved area within the rcc area now we can uh, determine the population this question is almost similar uh, to the first question but just uh, we need some changes in the fields in this uh, question we will put values of the population and in the rows we will give the status just show the values as percentage of the total now we will get the question that is asked so the fourth question is solved uh, for the next question it is uh, written as calculate the percentage of population for answered overserved area and underserved area against uh, each word with reference to the total rcc area to determine that uh, we just uh, need to go to the previous one it is cheaper and we need to make another report table now we will just Take the word ID in the rows. In the status uh, will column uh, will take status in the columns and population 22, uh, 22 in the values. We will show the values as percentage of grand total because we need the total area as RCC area. That's done. We have the population percentage uh, for the next question that is calculate the percentage of population for underserved overserved area and unserved area against against uh, the with the reference to the uh, word area so uh, for the, the for this question uh, we will just Go to the previous sheet and create another pivot table. Now, just we need to select this in the rows, population in the values. Similar to the previous question, just we need to tweak it a little bit. Uh, status 
eight of stages in the columns and we need to show it as percentage of row total now in each word we have the population percentages under the overset chart and under set area so all the questions are solved that's all for now thank you for watching